We were always told never to enter the woods. Stay out. Stay away, they said. They built a wall to keep us out. Shut out from the mysteries of the dark forest. I listened. I obeyed. I stayed away. But I couldn't help wonder what lied beyond the wall. When the wind would blow through the trees, I could hear a voice calling for me to enter the woods. What did they want to hide? What secrets could be uncovered? On a warm summer's night, the air smelling of wildflowers and peppermint from the garden. I tiptoed out of bed and carefully slipped on my boots. I grabbed a lantern from the kitchen table and lit it with a match. The light dancing on the surface of the walls and floor all around. Quietly, I snuck out the front door, leaving it open a crack. I looked back at our home, not a single light on. There was a strong wind that night, and I could hear the forest speaking my name. I began running through the field through the tall grass, all the way down to the wall. The wall was made of stone, one after the other, piled up. It was just barely taller than me, but that didn't stop me. I grabbed onto a large stone on the top and used all of my weight to pull myself up. I stumbled the first time, but I managed to climb over the wall. There it was, the edge of the forest. The leaves on the trees were blowing wildly now, and I shivered. Lantern in hand, I entered the woods. I stared up through the tops of the trees. I could see the night sky through them, stars twinkling away. And the air was different here. It smelled of earth and dried leaves. I kept walking. Nothing seemed odd or peculiar, yet what secrets could have made this wood so forbidden? I kept walking, my legs starting to become sore. Just as I was ready to head back, I saw a flicker of blue light in the distance. I rubbed my eyes. There it was again. It wasn't so far away from me, so I decided to go closer. The blue light flickering every other second. My heart was racing. What could this be? But by the time I got to where the light appeared to be coming from, the flickering had stopped. It was gone, whatever it was. Just as the trees had called my name earlier, there came a whisper from behind me. I slowly turned around. 
there stood a woman with a certain majesty that drew me in as if in a trance. Her hair was white and went all the way down to her ankles. Her aqua marine eyes stared at me, locking me in. She stepped close to me and whispered my name into my ear as soft as a light breeze, sending shivers down my spine. She kissed her finger and placed it on my forehead. Then she pulled a vial from her flowing white gown. The vial contained a pale blue liquid that seemed to be glowing. It looked like a s star. She placed the vial in my hands. I could hear a gust of wind coming in our direction, and as it passed, the woman turned into hundreds of shimmering leaves, traveling in a group with the wind. She was gone. I took the glass stopper out of the vial, and a sweet and pleasant aroma rose out. Without thinking, I drank the contents of the vial. My hands began to tingle, but then the unthinkable happened. A leaf started to grow from my finger. Suddenly, my skin turned into the bark of a tree, and my arms started to grow branches. I dropped my lantern and started running back through the woods. It began raining, plump drops of water down onto the earth. The dirt on the ground quickly turned into mud, making it nearly impossible to run. I could feel branches growing out from all around me. I kept running, running through the stickiness of the mud and the pain of my transformation. It felt like ages, but I started to see the wall at the edge of the woods. Another gust of wind came through the trees, strong enough to send me flying down onto the forest floor. But before I could get up, my feet turned into roots that started to grow deep into the ground. I started to grow taller, as tall as the trees around me. More branches grew, with leaves growing out every which way. I was stuck, trapped. I could still hear and see, although I now had no face. I was a tree, just another tree among the rest. I could see my house in the distance, the sun just barely starting to rise from behind it. I could also see the wall down below, looking so minuscule compared to how it appeared to me before. I was trapped on the other side of the wall before, wanting to know what secrets lied within the dark forest. But now, I had become trapped on the other side, frozen in time. My voice was gone, except for when the gentle breeze would come through and rustle my leaves. I 
I remain here, whispering out to the world, sharing my story whenever a gust of wind comes by. This is my story.